Hello everyone and uh, welcome yeah, to episode 96 already uh, of Hashtag Playing Together and we have a new guest. We have a new guest and that's Richard. Hi Richard, how are you? Hello. Where I'm are you zooming in from? I'm zooming in from Eindhoven in the Netherlands from my home office slash theater slash <laughs> TV, mini TV studio. <laughs> Hush everything. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a different country, but not far away. <laughs> no, no, it's really close. Yeah. 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 No. Eindhoven is not far from the Belgian border. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's about 30, 30 minutes. 10 minutes. 30 minutes. I 30 think. minutes. Okay. Right. Good. But I don't know because I haven't been there yet because I moved here during the pandemic. Pandemic. Mm. Okay. So, um, Looking forward to go to the Belgium supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> well, although we uh, often in Belgium go to the uh, supermarkets uh, like Albert Heijn. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do an exchange. I, I, I hear but... a lot of people who are very enthusiastic about the uh, Netherlands supermarkets. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm enthusiastic about the Belgium supermarkets. So funny. <laughs> because you have you have uh, better chocolate and the beer is cheaper yeah but and have... and you have what i always call uh, like the paper rolls in the kitchen yeah you have these with um pictures on it oh yeah oh. colorful pictures and you don't have them here oh okay but you have well, life goals <laughs> you have better organic food in in your uh, oh probably yeah stores. yeah and it's Maybe, cheaper yeah. Yeah. than here okay yeah yeah, wow. I need to think it's cheaper too. So, um, but uh, but uh, some of the uh, big super, uh, uh, well, the Netherlands supermarket change, they are going to have also locations in Belgium now. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I heard that. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice. And Richard, it's start of your holiday. You have a little holiday coming up. Yeah. A couple of days. Nice. Yeah actually booked a hotel so it's been like a year since we <laughs> went away okay <laughs> so uh, looking forward to it just uh, probably don't do anything different than i would do at home but then in another room <laughs> yeah just being in a hotel and having dinner exactly in yeah and walking yeah. and have some quality yeah. time exactly yeah, yeah. very also important good. sounds so 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 good yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we are going to do some improv. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, based on a suggestion from our magical hat. And uh, mm -hmm. here is the magical hat. So we have a lot of pieces of paper inside. Suggestions people gave us, friends gave us on Facebook. So um, I'm just going to pick one. And that will be the suggestion mm -hmm. of our little long form narrative. Yeah. Mm. So uh, very exciting all the time. Uh, hmm. Okay, I have one. Okay. Oh, this one we already had. Um, looking at clouds. We have that already. I have to take another one. Why is uh, back in the hat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Daisy. <laughs> but it's funny what happens because you mentioned that name and I already started brainstorming really? yeah. about it. <laughs> so, so probably there will be clouds uh, somewhere. Fine, they're, fine. They're here now. They're here perhaps, now. perhaps a supermarket. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a holiday yeah. in a hotel. Yeah. I always say that improv is like a remix of what happens with you in your life. So yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, hopefully not everything. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So the suggestion we have is from Keith Williams uh, from mm -hmm. the US okay. and the line is the following I love you mom but <laughs> love you mom but I love you mom but <laughs> <laughs> I love you mom but, but. okay <laughs> let's have some fun mm. We see a house. It's a wooden house and it's painted white. In front of the house, there's a porch with beautiful flowers growing 
up to it. The door is painted blue and there's a cat walking around in the garden in front of it. The sky is blue, clouds drifting by. If you listen carefully, you could hear the birds twittering around. There's a soft breeze and it could be the first page of a children's book. But is it? Frank parks his car, steps out. He raises his jacket in his neck. He looks around, he looks at his watch, counting to three with his eyes closed and walks up to the door. Tak, 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 tak. Oh, who is it? It's Frank, mom. Frank. Frank who? I, Frank, your son, mom. You know who I, I am. I have a daughter, I think. No? It has been a while, I have to admit. But you also have a son, and his name is Frank. Let me see your forehead. My forehead? Oh, Frank! Yes, come on in. <coughs> Hi, Mom. Can I give you a kiss? Yes. Okay. How are you doing? Well, you know, I'm old. I know it's a while that I was here, probably five years or something. I was very busy now. But uh, I thought, I had a chat with Valerie, my sister, and, and she said you, well, not so well. Do you need money? No, 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 well, perhaps a little, but, but <clears throat> let's, let's talk about you. I've been doing well, actually. I have a new neighbor. He's helping me a lot around with everything. Of course, I pay him. He painted the house and the porch. Oh, oh, you, he planted you... uh, some flowers. Yeah. See, they're very... Saw that. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but, but you have to be careful with neighbors. Yeah. I don't know him. Does he, has he good intentions? I think so. I think so. I mean, he, he's kind of better son, son than you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. And uh, I give him money, but at least he does uh, things for this money. He, you give him money? Yeah, he fixed the toilet. Uh, okay. Mom, um, well, let's talk. Uh, Mom... I'm, I'm, I have to tell you a few things. Um, I'm married in the meantime. But you uh, were married before, right? Yeah, I divorced. I'm married again. And I have oh. a little a little son of, of two years now. Yeah. I have a grandchild? Yeah, you have. Is he here with you? No, no. No? No? Mom, why not? Mom, you know why? No. It was nothing particularly nice, yeah, the last time we've saw, seen each other. You came so much... here begging for money. Yeah. For your di divorce, I think. Lawyers. Yeah. You wouldn't give me the money. And you basically, you have thrown me out of the house and you said, never come back. I don't want to see you anymore. You, because but you can only talk you, about you, money. Here again. Listen, listen. Oh. You're my child. Your sister, she's so much better than you. She has a job. You know? You always... Ex-wife, Matilda, she was a very nice woman. You always favored Valerie above me. Even when we were children. 
Yeah, always. She 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 pulled my hair, and I, if I pulled her hair as well, then I had was to blame. Well, at least she finished high school. I have to go outside for a cigarette already. Sorry. Oh, and you're smoking, of course. Okay, I am going to the toilet. Hi, mom. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, I am great. Thank you for calling me. Oh, yeah. How was the house? Is the painting ready yet? Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Guess who's here visiting? I don't know. The neighbor? Mm, Frank. Wait, Frank? Yeah. What's my brother doing there? Well, that's a good question. He has a new wifey and a child, apparently, but he didn't bring the child, neither the wife. But how? He he went away and he just shows up at your doorstep? Exactly. This is Does exactly he have to? What did you tell him? You told him to go, right? Uh, honey, he, he's my He never son. called me. I know, but he's my child too, and he's a big disappointment, but I love him. Not more than you, I promise. Mom, I, are, you, are you okay? I, I mean, Frank is sleeping on my couch right now, and I don't know what to do with him. Maybe if you were here too. You can organize a little family reunion or something. Yeah, well, that would be nice. Oh, fu I tried to forget him. You tried to forget him. And I now know. he shows up when everything's going all right. He's always spoiling everything. Yeah, I, but I, 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 will, I will see if I can come by. Please. But, please. but I have to go into a meeting now. Love you. Love, Love you, mom. Kisses. So, Mrs. Johnson, I've put in, I've, I've planted some apple trees in your garden like you asked to do, yeah. What? My my son is here. He's sleeping. I didn't know you had a son. I almost forgot about him. Uh. He, he's snoring. Can you hear him snoring? Yes. <clears throat> yes, that's him. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> See, he will get, I guess, spend some time here. I don't know what happened. He remarried. He has a child, but he's here alone, which is weird. Okay. Right. So I would like to ask you to keep an eye on me because I'm old and I'm naive and stupid probably, and he can take advantage. Yeah, of, of course, of course. I will do what you say. So I mean, he always comes here when he needs money. And yeah. if I give him money, yeah. I won't be able to pay you. That type of son. Yeah, I know that those type of children, they are, they just want to have the money of the parents. And then when they have the money, they go away. And they always look in the basement to see if there's not a suitcase there filled of money or a bar of gold. I know everything about that. Well, anyway, Mrs. Johnson, so for the apple tree, it's uh, 1,000 euros. Yeah, I had to go to the garden center, plant a tree, but um, oh, I thought you were happy with yeah, that. Yeah, prices changed. Yeah, yeah, they went up. There was 800 euros yesterday, but now it's 1,000 euros. So can I can I have some? Yes. I okay, I, I will come back tomorrow for the second apple tree. Yeah, and hopefully the prices will not increase then. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. let's let's hope so oh. okay so mrs Anderson, see you see you later yeah Have bye so frank huh. hmm how you doing man since you are my best friend um I like to talk to you, hang around with you, but um, yeah. I have the idea that you're not doing well lately. No, no. You know, my new wife, she's, I mean, she, she has an addiction, I think. She's always shopping. You know how that goes. Oh. I just can't pay the bills anymore. Mm. And I don't have a job. She's always yeah, saying, Frank, you need a job. Frank, you need to work. Frank, yeah. grow up. 
Frank this, Frank that. And we only just married for, for two years. Yeah, Frank, I hate to say it, but I think you're com really complaining too much about this. I mean, you already fucked up your, uh, your uh, first marriage and now you're only married two years. She's lovely. She's great. She has a job. You have a child. You should have thought about that. It comes with responsibility, Frank. No, I don't, I don't know if the child came with responsibilities. The child just came. Wow. Mm. That's not really how it goes, Frank. <laughs> okay. okay, perhaps you're right. No. Okay. I think you should. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but I think someone <laughs> should say it to you. And since I'm your best friend, you know. I'm so sorry. You, you always tell me like. I'm smoking too much. I'm sorry. <coughs> Frank. Frank. I'm really really concerned about you you really should change something in your life now but but robert do you think so yeah i think i mean i really think it's hard to tell you this but i think someone should get money fix it Uh, Frank. Hello. Oh, Hello. Hi. Yeah, hi, Frank. Oh. Oh, hi. it's me. Uh, I mean, where are you? You promised to be back already. I, you know, when I'm alone with the child, I start buying things a lot, like crazy, uh, like, <laughs> and you promised to be here. To, to help me with the child. I, I, I'm so sorry, Louise, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do, um, I, I'm trying to fix, I have, to, I have a solution, yeah, I've, I've with my mother. Did you, did you get the money from your mother? Uh, no, not yet, but soon, soon. And when I have the money, uh, then, then I will, uh, you know, everything will be fine. I, I can use the money and I can do some investments. Investments? I, I saw a nice pair of shoes. It's a good investment, yes. Yeah, no, no, no. So, so investments at the bank or something. Um, okay, or, yes. Or... Please give your mother my bank account. It's it's more secured. Yeah, Louise, I, I well, first see if I have, I mean, my mother is not, I don't know. I don't know if she's well. Um, Frank, I listen, to... I have a job. I take care of your child. You disappeared and you have zero money and you promised to be here already. And I'm staying at home with the child alone and I keep ordering things online. But I yeah. need to go to a real shop or real store to, to buy other stuff I like, new purchases. Yes, yes, Louise. Of course, of course. I, 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 I'm so sorry, darling. What about this sister of yours? She will get some of your mother's money as well, right? Well, I don't know what she got from mother. Perhaps she took all the money already. I have no idea. I, I have to. F Sorry, Louise. It's not. A, it's not the right time now. Please, I, I have to go and sort things out. Like never the right time. Never. I am ordering the shoes. I'm don't do that. Back. Oh, no. Mom, you made such a mess. I canceled some meetings and I came right to your house just as you asked. Frank is still sleeping on the couch so we can have a little chat together. Yeah, he's not still sleeping. He's sleeping again. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm um, cleaning the house in the meantime because you made such a mess. Mom, do you really think you're okay alone at the house? Do you need more help? I mean, a neighbor is helping, but... You yeah, know. but when I need to go to the toilet I'm, and I'm very tired, sometimes I would pee on the carpet. That's not a problem, I guess. No. It's an old Mom. carpet. Mom, you're really getting old. Do you, do you want me to move in with you? Since I can, I can really take care of you more than anyone else. Yeah, you know that. I, would love, I would love that. Yes, yes. You yes. always said, me. you always said, I mean... You're a mother, so you can tell it uh, out loud, but I know I'm your favorite child. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And sometimes I feel like you're my only <sighs> child. 
Oh, this picture of us in the holidays when father was still alive. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Those were the days. Oh, you were so, you yeah. looked so good. Mm. In a swimming pool in Italy. Do you remember? Uh, we were swimming and Frank was always bullying me. And then I always got to get two gelati ice creams instead of her <laughs> and him. <laughs> it was our little secret. Do you remember, Mom? Mom, our little secret? <laughs> yes. Oh, honey, and you were always so fit. And Frank. No. Yeah. Yeah. But why oh, was he he? I'm sorry, I just said, oh, oh, I'm sorry, didn't you, you had company, Mrs. Johnson, uh, hi, oh. hello. Oh, hello. you are the neighbor. I'm the neighbor, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Jonathan, the neighbor. Jonathan, hi. nice oh, to yeah. meet you, nice to meet I'm you. I'm Valerie, I'm, uh, I'm uh, Miss Phillips' daughter. Oh, Valerie. I'm just helping, just was driving, passing by, helping a little bit around, you know, as one does, as a, as family. Okay, I see, okay. Um, well, I have some business to talk with. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, I, I brought the delivery of the second apple tree forward, so I already have it here. I can plant it in the garden. You see, Father, I'm, I'm helping out here in, in, in the house of your mother. Oh, yeah. mm, really? Ah, good neighbors are four. That's so nice of you. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, he planted the other apple tree and he charged mm -hmm. me only mm -hmm. thousand euros for that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful oh. one. Yeah, that's a big one. I have the idea that you're not planting an apple tree, but a money tree. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, this is neighbor love, yeah? I'm doing my best and I helped your mother already for several years. Yes. Yeah. I, oh, I've really? painted the doors blue. I fixed the toilet. I'm doing everything here in the house. I'm sorry, I'm feeling offended, yeah? I'm feeling offended. Uh, no, 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 please, 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 please. Uh, let me compensate you, compensate you for, for, for this feeling. Okay, here, take 2000 Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's just fine because the price has uh, increased again. So, Valerie, it was very nice meeting you. <laughs> Mrs. Yeah. See you later. I was just joking, but maybe um, your reaction said it all. <laughs> okay. See you again. See you. I love the color blue. Honey, he helps me so much. <sighs> Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, but mom, you have to really invest with your money. Everyone is going after it. I know, I know. Okay, honey. Just... I have to run yeah. back to work. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. So, that was a good nap. Another one, yes. Another good nap. Okay. Now, Mother, you know, when Father was still alive, he was talking about uh, have something aside in case there are bad times. Yeah, some money and gold bars. Yeah, he always mentioned in the in the cellar there are a couple of gold bars. I, I, I was wondering if they are still there. I, I don't remember that. I don't oh, okay. It. Look, mom, I need them. I have, I have terrible problems. My wife, Louise, I don't have a job and a child, two years. I don't see any future. Even my best friend is against, well, tells me I have to change. And Mother, mom, I need some money. Please, I beg you. You're so pathetic, but I somehow like this. I like you being pathetic. I guess I can write you a check or something. Thanks. Um, I'll, I don't know, 800 euros? I, I was thinking about 20,000. Oh. But I just think it as a... Well, you're old already and, you know, you will not live long. It could be a little bit of a, you know. I'm in perfect health. Yeah. Well, 20,000, huh? That's like a lot of apple trees. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> you can buy hundreds of them. Yeah. <laughs> let me sleep on it, and uh, I'll let you know in the morning. Okay. And your sister, she was here, and she's coming back. Valerie? Yeah. I haven't seen her for years. Yeah, you were sleeping, so she was here. Oh. Cleaned up a little bit around. Okay. So I'm going to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night, Mom. See you tomorrow. Ding dong. Who is it? Oh, it's me again. Give me a second, it takes. I'm an. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. I was just driving by on the way to a customer and I thought, let's check in with mom how the apple tree is doing. Well, it's, it's, it's a small baby apple tree. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have on your car? Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not my own car. It's uh, the car of the company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a re I got a promotion, yeah. as one does if you if you do your work well. Yeah. I think when you show commitment, then you uh, automatically get things back. Don't you think so? Yes, that makes sense. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To be honest, is Frank still here? Uh, I think he's having another nap. Yeah. Is it okay if I talk to him? Of course, of course. Hey, Frank! 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 Yes! Come, yeah. come outside, come here! Hi, Frank! That's a long time ago. Yeah. Such a coincidence that I'm just dropping by while you're here. Don't you think so? Yeah, yeah, very much. I mean, you. Give us some space. I'll be back in a. Okay. Oh yeah, a cup of tea would be nice. Yeah, I would do some tea. What do you do here? What do you do here, Frank? I am really taking care of mother. I'm concerned that she is, doesn't take long until she can't take care of herself anymore. I'm doing everything here. All my spare time, I'm helping out mother. And you, you, and we didn't hear a word of you for two years. And suddenly you're here. Don't you think that is a little strange? I don't know. Um, everyone is always against me. Yeah? I, I'm just here to say hello to mom. I know she's old and God knows how long she will still have. I mean, I wanted to see her. And yeah, it's two years is a long time, but... but I wanted to prepare her. I'm married. Uh, she has a, <laughs> a grandchild now, and like really, one, yeah, 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 yeah. But why didn't you tell us? Well, we didn't have exactly a very good relationship, yet, the two of us. Yeah, but you ran away. Yeah, I did. Why did I run away? I never could do anything good. Not for dad. Not for mom. You were always her, the favorite. It was yeah. it was so bad. Always arguing. Yeah. I <laughs> didn't feel I didn't felt appreciated at all. I didn't feel loved. I love my mother, but it's does she love me? I think so. Yes. She missed you a lot. Oh, here is some tea. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Uh, Frank. Well, look, Frank. It's nice to see you. Frank, you look, you're looking good. You're doing uh, well. I have to tell you something. I, 
needed some time because I have a laptop now and I'm learning how to use it. Yeah. And I had to check my balance on, on my bank account and apparently I have less than 600 euros left. I spend all the money on. What? Yeah. Well, what? Oh, is that okay. possible? On the house? Yes, and the trees. See how many trees I have. I have cherry trees. I have peach trees. Mother, mother, you should have taken care of us. Well, I think it's about time for you to take care of me. So I was thinking I can spend six months of the year with you Harry, and six months with you frank and your lovely family until the rest of my life and hopefully i will live at least 10 more years that's the only fair yeah. thing hmm. otherwise i guess i have to gift all the houses we have to the three of them to the church because i'm becoming more and more religious I don't know what to say, actually. Uh, yeah, to say, yeah, you can say thank you. Yes, of course. <clears throat> but perhaps you can stay with Valerie, huh? Valerie? The first uh, six months, I would like to stay with you, Frank and me. I, I think you should stay with your grandchild. Exactly, exactly. And your lovely wife. But I don't know if Louise will... Louise, oh, oh, such a wonderful name, Louise. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see your children crying from happiness. That's happy tears. Hmm. Okay. So, okay, I, I guess you can help me with my suitcases. I bought very expensive suitcases. I sold them on... Uh, internet and I like them. They're pink. Probably. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do that then. Yeah. And we can always come here for the weekend to spend some time together with the apple trees and the cherry trees. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I have let's to go. admit. Yeah, Valerie. I thought I only cared for the money and I thought you were only here for the money but when I see the three of us now I think we should go on as a family the apple doesn't fall far from the tree no. we're family oh. we are yeah family I feel butterflies <laughs> Uh, oh. it's, Do you have a picture of your child? Yeah, it's on my uh, my smartphone. Oh, he looks like your father. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> you know, when I'm just talking with both of you, I'm I'm so happy that we had this moment. I, I would never have forgiven me that you would never have seen your grandchild or Valerie that you even didn't knew that either. And yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy too, Frank. Do you remember that father told us that he buried gold in the cellar? Yeah, I don't, I don't, exactly. I, don't I think, think we just found it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes, that's the, that's the goal. That's the gold. So let's go uh, and prepare my, my suitcases. They're very beautiful. <laughs> okay. We will. Let's I go. Will. So. And then we see the picture of the house again. There's new people living there now. In the meantime, the door is painted yellow. There are some dark clouds over the house. It starts raining. But soon there will be new stories and new lives in this house.
Look, Daddy, I found some gold in the cellar. And scene. <laughs> ah, ah, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good ending. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> yeah, nice. We all had a lot of characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah. I was, yeah. I was actually writing down the names. Yes. That's the yeah. look that, what I am. That's <laughs> nice if you play online. You yes. can just pick notes. Yeah. <laughs> what was my and I said, did I mention my name? Yeah, no. yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, if you're back on stage, I don't know how I will do it without my notes. <laughs> uh, but somehow but I before we started we had a little talk that I it was a long time that I played like an actual creative long form. Yeah. Uh, so it was really nice to be back there Good. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you have this really this focus and you have to remember everything. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the fun of improvising. <laughs> yeah. well, I think we had a great scene and uh, with a very happy ending. <laughs> well, the treat. Yeah, I was, I was doubting. I said, well, I thought, well, why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was also like, doubting as Frank. Mm, Shall I agree or not? Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's agree. Yeah, <laughs> but at the well, I always already played like a pretty negative yes. person. Yeah. But, I, but, but well, she played positive, but mm, you were doubting her motives. Yes. But yeah, that, hey, why not? Yeah. <laughs> can can be an actual person <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> with feelings. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's have a little chat about uh, improv, yeah, yeah, bit, and the things you do lately, or yeah, uh, perhaps a little intro. When did you start with improv? <gasps> <laughs> Long time ago, nineteen ninety two. Whoa. Oh. Okay. When I was studying, and there were people in my uh, at my um, university, and they said, "Why were we doing improv theater sports?" And uh, maybe you like it, so that's how it all started. So I did it for a long time. I did theater sports. Um, yeah. It's like more the short form comedy, as we call it here. And um, and from that, I started doing workshops or playing for com for companies and schools, and then. Uh, I quit my other real real job back then. I was a graphic designer, still do that. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, and I started my own company. Uh, and that's all related, well, that's all around improv, your new co yeah. your own co And how is the company called? Uh, my uh, company is called uh, Box of Chocolates. Oh. That's what I do uh, alone. It comes from uh, the movie Forrest Gump. Uh -huh. in which they say life is like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> as it is with improv <laughs> exactly and then, and i chose that name because it i all uh, i want to also uh help uh, make this awareness in working environments and in real life that you can deal with stuff that comes your way and make the most of it um, so I do that in team training and I do a lot of corporate shows where I use improv and training um, and my presenter. Uh -huh. So I do a lot of um, everything that has to do with communication. Yeah. And usually I do that live and past year, a lot of it online. Nice, nice. If you say corporate shows, does that mean you go to... Um to a business a corporation and you do a show there or, or? No, mostly it's, um, yeah, kind of, but mostly it's like connected to like this company has this new way of working or their quarterly meeting yeah. where they have workshops or presentations. And then mostly we do like one part of it, like to make maybe the opening of a day to get people more uh, engaged in the, subject or mostly we do like a wrap up yeah. and then we go on stage and it's like half of it is interviewing people from the audience so yeah. what have you thought what did you talk about what is what do, um, is the management what uh, did the management tell you to do and how do you feel about it and other questions about it or and if if this all is going to work how would your company look like in a half a year 
from now and then we play about that oh nice and we do a lot of <laughs> songs improvised really? songs yeah okay and these shows i do with ingrid kluft mm -hmm. and uh, our musicians bram or marco okay and then we are called stand to pay oh good and you do that only in corporations or also um in the um improv uh, on festivals or, or not that much anymore uh, especially with this group we started as the the ar arrogantes mm -hmm. the little the little arrogance mm -hmm. um then hence the name was really big and theatrical and then from and we also did for the stuff for companies but now we're like a couple to mm -hmm. ingrid yeah. and me and we really focus on the corporate stuff yeah and sometimes schools but that really we use improv to um yeah to bring across a kind of message so that's really different than just mm -hmm. theatrical improv and for festivals at uh, festivals and other improv i do solo improv since a couple of years do you have a certain style or genre solo improv? for solo yeah um it was nice because when I started doing solo, it was because I was in a lot of different groups and I needed some focus and change. So I thought, I'm going to do it alone. And by playing alone, I've just found in my own voice, I think. Mm -hmm. Because out of, with playing with other people, that's the nice thing of playing with other people. It's also like a mix of everyone's thoughts. Mm -hmm. When you play alone, you only have yourself. So I discovered also uh, things. Uh, that I, yeah, what I already knew is that I like to play real characters, different kind of characters. Yeah. And I was looking for, uh, because I like to play pretty big and more comic-like. Mm -hmm. And in my solo improv, I'm also looking like to more like a realistic emotions in that. Uh, so that's what I found that I can do that pretty quick. And I like, and that's what I discovered, like a physical stuff, like a movement. I use my body a lot. Yeah. And uh, in my normal corporate improv, I hardly do that because it's oh. pretty much from the mind and like mm -hmm. words because you want to, yeah, just yeah. play with play with the words or specific yeah. topics of a company. And on on my own on stage, I feel that I use a literal literal space almost like a lot of dancing and mimicking or visualizing mountains with my hands or playing birds and stuff like that. So that's really nice that I discovered uh, playing solo. Okay, great. Um, have you done any online shows or classes? Uh, no, I, yeah, I do a lot of uh, improv for, yeah, for my work. So I do a lot of presentations or team meetings as a host. Uh, and I also play some improv in it, but it's mostly monologues or poems or songs. Yeah. So because it's like my face. Um, and and it translates well on screen. Mm -hmm. um, and I did, uh, yeah, I do, I teach uh, a lot on, online okay. in characters and um, techniques, voice techniques, movement, stuff, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Story, and really storytelling. Yeah. And also solo improv, yeah, because I, I joined the course. Yeah, yeah, I did a lot of, yeah, and that is really nice for, on, for online because, uh, yeah, as we played now, it was pretty, it went pretty well, like playing with each other. Mm -hmm. Uh, but online is uh, specifically suitable suitable for playing <laughs> solo, which yeah. makes sense because we're all alone. Yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah, and I like that online you can teach topics that would be maybe too specific for a actual workshop mm -hmm. with ten people. You don't go ahead the whole evening uh, writing a monologue. No, because okay. that would be boring. With online one hour class, you can do that. Yeah. So different things than you would do normally do. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, talking about solo improv, um, you also organized together with uh, Andre Besseling a festival mm -hmm. every year. Yeah, yeah, you've been there. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> you've, you've part, part, yeah. Uh, also in the workshops. Yeah, it um, it started a couple of years ago when I started doing solo. Uh, Andre also. It was coincidence. Something in the air, <laughs> and I was asking around because I I went to uh, Chicago. Mm -hmm. for two weeks for uh, uh, solo intensive weeks with Andy Enniger. Yeah. Remember that name? Yeah. Uh, because I saw him performing at the festival and I was immediately like touched by, hey, mm -hmm. this is something that I want to do. And uh, I went there. So I really took the chance and uh, go there. But then I spent a lot of money and time. So it really was like pushed me to really do it yes don't be afraid and then i started to play i just wanted to practice so i asked in the community in netherlands um where can i play like 15 minutes who's playing shows and where can i like yeah i in uh, as an exchange i will be a judge or a presenter or whatever and then i can play like 15 minutes or 20 minutes uh, so i invited myself and andre saw that and he was like, whoa, I want to do that too. We are, we are competition. I want to be the first. No, I am the best improviser. No, no. Yeah. But it was really like, I'm making fun of it now, but, but to be honest, it felt a little bit like that. Uh, but then we connected and we found that we were really into it in the, on the same level mm -hmm. and, because of the, and because of the same reasons. Yeah, because people, mostly people think, oh, solo improv is, oh, you have such a big ego, you think you can do this, because it's really, it's really scary, it's scary. Yes, it is. No, but then we, really, we really started doing it because we already do a lot of improv for such a long time uh, with groups and different styles. And it was like for us, okay, what's really new and really scary to me? is playing solo. Yeah, definitely. And then we discovered together, and oh, we can, this was a really long introduction for the, <laughs> then we made a festival. <laughs> yeah. we, and also this was really an, in an improvising way. Uh, we wanted to perform, we rehearsed together because we worked a lot together and we, yeah. we exchanged ideas and we trained each other also. Uh, so, and we were trying to book one evening where we could play. And then we thought, oh, we can ask someone else. And then we asked someone else and then someone came from America and then it was a festival. <laughs> and then, uh, then we did it a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have plans to do the Remy festival? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. We yeah. Are, because we skipped one year and then we did it again. And yeah. now I think next, when, when it's possible next year, we will have another festival. Yeah. In Great. 2022. 22, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. yeah, but it's true yeah. what you say. It's uh, because I like to do solo sometimes too. I, I like to play in troops, love to play with, with days in a duo. Solo is another thing. It's uh, you need some other tools, but I'm usually not so nervous. But mm -hmm. with solo, uh, I'm dead scared. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so scary so yeah. scary because oh, you know, I remember in our first online shows he was I was nervous too oh yeah <laughs> yeah great um, yeah, um, yeah but yeah but what I like about solo to finish that subject is that um, it is really who the improviser is in by himself mm -hmm. and no if we all have the same concept or the same uh, subject from the audience it will be a totally different show yeah. and yeah. you can't plan ahead because i thought oh solo uh, no other no other improvisers going to bother me on stage <laughs> with in, interfere with my ideas but it's totally the different <laughs> because you have no second to think yeah. you no. really have to, all these basic improv things you you have to do mile um, times yeah. 10 yeah. by yourself yeah. every stupid suggestion by myself i have to deal with it yeah, exactly and make it yeah. work so yeah go with the flow yeah. and you surprise yourself constantly yeah yeah also when you do multi-character solo um i just love that because these are things you can also use when you then train with a troop or with a duo mm -hmm. because yeah if you're good in characters um and you can 
do a lot of them in one solo show i mean that ability mm -hmm. you can also do in a troupe yeah you can play different characters there and uh, yeah. i think that's very yeah mm -hmm. you have a, you learn a lot doing solo yeah yeah that, that's what i like teaching solo even even for people even if you're not planning to do a solo show you can use all these skills in your yeah. own troupe you become more aware of what you're doing i think yeah cool. and it's and it's fun it's difficult but not that difficult <laughs> <laughs> is, there no. a new, is there a new soul workshop coming up no because i not really no no yeah, yeah. because um i don't offline? know offline maybe maybe online again yeah online. Okay. But, um, yeah well now in the in the midst of mm. um, you know mm. at least in the benelux from yeah are things opening soon or not yeah. and, uh, yeah. And luckily, I'm really busy with work, so good <laughs> all, all, all online a lot. But uh, yeah, so I'm not, not feeling the room yet in my uh, mind. So when it comes, it comes, and uh, I think uh, when Andre picks up the phone and says, "Let's do something together," <laughs> we do it together. Yeah, because organizing stuff is more fun together. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Andre will also play with us in two weeks' time. Oh, nice! Uh, yeah, yeah, looking forward to that too. So, uh, yeah. oh, he's, then, he's uh, he has weird ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I like that about Andre. He looks he likes looks like a really serious uh, person, but then when he goes to play, it's really <laughs> fant fantastic, strange ideas. Great! Yeah, looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Richard, um, we are going to put some links um, of Box of Chocolates and the things you do online. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, send us a few links as well. And, nice. Um, or things which are coming up or just let us know and we put them online so people okay. can, easily, yeah. can easily find that on also your company. Yeah? If someone is interested, hey, I like to do some, have some corporate training, then uh, they know. That's possible. They yeah. can contact <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, def definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you very much for playing with us. Yeah, thank you, Daisy. Very nice playing yeah. different characters. <laughs> yeah. It was super. Um, yeah. I'm going to bring us offline, so uh, stay with us, Richard. Uh, don't go away yet. But uh, okay. everyone watching, uh, okay. many times. Thank you. Bye bye. And, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>